pressure suit is inflating as it's supposed to be, and then depressurize it the rest of the way so that he can open the door. And then when he opens the door, preparation for that, he'll cut the, uh, well, after he opens the door, he'll cut the oxygen supply, which he's now getting from tanks on the capsule. He'll cut the oxygen supply over to bottles on his back. So the meteorologist is suggesting you that Felix they let the capsule there, continue to climb. He notes that it is still climbing. Balloon now approaching the 125,000 mark, and still it's regained its speed. It slow, started to slow, and now it's regained its rate of climb back to 1,000 feet a minute. Now they're going to open the valve, a valve at the top of the balloon, and vent a little helium. So that's to stop that ascent. The balloon has special valves on the top, and they can open those valves going up at 2,000 feet a minute now. Felix, let me know when I can start the uh, egress Very fast. check. I need to know when we can start the egress check. And Joe Kittinger, I'll let you know. capsule communicator, wants to get started on the what's called the egress checklist. They'll check the bailout bottles on Felix's back, check his parachute handles, they'll make a little test, close off the oxygen from the capsule and try out the oxygen from his bailout bottles very quickly. They'll activate all the cameras on his pressure suit. He'll slide back and forth in the seat that he's in there, built like a like the slides on a car seat. The balloon's still going up. 127,000 feet now. So that is higher than 24 miles up. Then they'll, as I mentioned, depressurize the capsule in two steps. They'll depressurize it partway, at which point Baumgartner's pressure suit should automatically begin to inflate. So they do it halfway to make sure it's going to inflate. And then they dump the rest of the pressure to equalize the pressure in the capsule to what it is outside. Because now he'll be pr protected by his pressure suit. Then Felix will open the door. He'll slide the seat back and forth a little Felix, bit. Let me know when I can start the egress check. Kittinger will, Kittinger will do that uh, exercise I mentioned where he uh, looks at the, on the camera to see that the parachute yes, on Baumgartner's back is okay. Okay, uh, confirm you're ready to start the egress. Check. Said something there about the heat and the visor. He's getting the heat. He's getting the heat. Okay, Joe, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Felix, item one. Depress rise the suit, reinstall hose and cover. I need you to respond, Felix. Respond to my commands. Item one, depressurized suit, reinstall hose and cover. Felix, confirm, depressurized suit, reinstall hose and cover. Over. Suit is depressurized and hose and cover is gone. Boy, item two, check bailout bottle pressure. Both bailout bottles looking good. The needle is in the flag. Thank you. 
Check location and security of all four parachute handles. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, item four, check door stop to open. Door stop is open. I can see the green. I repeat, door stop is open. I can read the green. Thank you. Item 5. Stow hand warmer. Turn capsule switch F6 off. Watch trot 6 off. Thank you, Felix. Item six, activate suit and chest pack cameras. The chest pack cameras are on. I can see the red light. Thank you. Item 7. Move pilot monitor to the exit position. Pilot monitor is the exit position. Item 8. Remove UCD hose. Close valve and zip pocket shut. Yours is removed. It's closed and pocket is shut. Thank you. Item nine, turn O2 and into flow valves to the closed position. Well, two and well and two flow is in the closed position. Thank you. Item 10, we're going to skip because your sunshade is already down. Item 11, remove vent tube from feeding port. Item 12, set visor heat to full power. Uh, we would have done that. All right, need a... I'm sorry, Felix. Um, item 12, set visor heat to full power. Verify chest pack red LED is on. Thank you, Felix. Item 13, verify face seal tight. I verify face seal is tight. Item 14, move seat to the forward position. Position. Okay, item 15, turn off 
liquid oxygen supply levers one and two. Look, one and look through off, the both went down to 60 fuse A. Return the oxygen supply levers back on. Oxygen supply levers are back on. And an 18, system pressure 70 psi. That is correct. System pressure 70 psi. Item 20, adjust helmet tie down. Okay, we're getting serious now, Felix. Item 21, use the dump valve, depressurize the capsule to 40,000 feet, and confirm a pressure suit inflation. Let me know when it inflates. I'm pumping the calibration out to 40,000 feet. And let me know when your suit pressurizes. Where you see over on the right in that graphic on air pressure how the air pressure is dropping as he intentionally lowers the air pressure in the capsule. And now he's confirming that the suit has uh, pressurized. Confirm, uh, that your pressure suit is inflated over. So that's Item all worked as it's supposed to. Remove and stow suit vent hose and suit exhaust hose. Okay, Felix, uh, from now on it gets really serious because we're getting ready to depressurize the cabin. And uh, our guardian angel will take care of you. I have a 24, depressurize the cabin to ambient altitude, which is 127,800 feet. I'm doing it now. Now watch the rest of that pressure drop off. And the graphic on the right-hand side, the upper graphic, the lower graphic as well. Attention on the net, this is Mission Control. Felix is depressurizing the Stratos capsule to ambient outside 
barometric pressure. He's at altitude of 127,900 feet. So the air outside there is so thin that it's a virtual vacuum, which means that as Felix jumps, he has no resistance. And for the first part of the jump, can't control his position. So what will be critical here is that when he jumps, to avoid any fast spin or tumble. And if it works at, as the other jumps did, you'll see it as a little spot on the infrared camera as he jumps out of that capsule. Oh, the door's not coming in. Felix, we're, we're still, we're only at 100,000 feet. You still got 100, you got 28,000 feet to go. The door will open when you reach ambient altitude of 128,000 feet. And right now, you're about 100,000 feet. So you got about 28,000 feet more to go. Just keep dumping the pressure, and the door will open. Okay, I'll wait. So you notice that ascent did level off. He has reached the float altitude and the balloon is not going much higher. It bobbles around up there, around the 128,000 mark. So that's about 24 and a half miles high. So they've told him when he stands out there on that little skateboard. 12,000 feet. Keep dumping her. She's coming up. Keep her going. On that little skateboard-like platform. They practice this a lot, and they call the technique a bunny hop. Okay, I'm leaving. Supposed to jump off there, just kind of dropping. Because at first, as I say, you'll have no control because there's so little resistance. They do expect he may roll a little bit. He did last time. Seven or eight times, actually, a gentle roll over. And that's not risky, not dangerous. What one hopes against is a Decay about 112,000 feet now, Felix. A fast spin. Head 127, nine. Or tumble. But he has a, an emergency chute that if he were to tumble too fast, too many G-forces, automatic would automatically deploy so that's another thing to watch for as long as you don't see that emergency chute come out in the first minutes of this jump that's a very good sign so the good signs would be no wild looking tumble or spin and no drogue chute suddenly coming out So then, because that air is so thin, that's the point at which they expect that he will break through the sound barrier. Maybe 30 seconds after he drops off, he will gradually, at the, as, as again in, in the beginning, he has no control at all, but toward, toward the 30 second mark, he begins uh, to get a little Felix. control and he'll try to put his head down. Yes, the door is not coming in. Well, the, you, you, as, is the, put the dump valve all the way to the rear. Put the dump valve all the way to the rear. There it is. There's a world out there. The Roll door has opened. Roll the door open. The and door has the opened. Door stop, Felix. Door is open. Door stop is engaged. Okay, item 26. Move seat to the rear of capsule. Item 27, lift legs into the door threshold. Item 28, slide the seat forward. Okay, item 29.
29, release seat belt. Item 29, Felix, release the seat belt. Attaboy, that's good. Okay, slide forward into the rest position. Go a little bit further forward so we can check your chute. Your chute's okay, Felix. I say again, item 31, your chute integrity is checked. Your parachutes are not deployed. Item 32, verify cutaway knife handle strap is attached and knife in proper position. Say Roger if it's so. Roger. Okay. Chest pack faceplate heat is on. Make certain that's is on and you got a red light. Red light is on. Okay, uh, here we go. Item 34. Disconnect chest pack umbilical. Okay, uh, do you read me, Felix, on the communications? Uh, Felix, give me a short count. Okay. Snow umbilical. Disconnect both oxygen supply hoses. Okay, are they disconnected? Give me a thumbs up if they're disconnected. I don't, they're still connected. Felix, disconnect the oxygen hose. Atta boy. All right, stand up on the exterior step. Keep your head down. Release the helmet tie down strap. Start the cameras. And our guardian angel will take care of you. Joanne Felix at a stable descent. Well, that's very, very reassuring what we've seen there. That high speed drop, and now you can see from the little dot, there's the applause. Felix, you calling me? You said something. Kemp. Family applauding, but you can see by can you hear me? the little dot. 
that he's in controlled descent. Two minute into free fall. So two minutes. Uh, keep talking, Felix. Keep talking. Still can't quite make that out, but reassuring to hear his voice. And you can see how he's in control there. That's showing you the supply of oxygen in his oxygen bottles. Yes, Felix, I hear you. Go ahead. Roger, go ahead. Go ahead, Felix, I hear you. Go ahead. Still free falling. Really stable. You've fallen three and a half minutes. Record is. I have to fall before because my riser is walking out. I repeat, my riser is walking out. I fell. So you can understand that. He said his visor was fogging up, but he's getting to warmer altitudes. There's the shoot. There's the shoot. Under, under parachute now. Could have done any better myself. There's, there's the from the helicopter the now. Out of the north at 5 to 10. Out of the north under at 5 canopy. to 10. And you can contact floating Mike Todd safely on this frequency. Give Mike Todd floating safely call. down Over. to Earth. There's Ava Baumgartner. Felix, the wind's out of the north, 5 to 10. Give Mike Elated. Todd a call. Tears of joy Over. from Mission Control. As Felix now Felix, approaches I, uh, the ground. I hear you. The wind here are out of the east. At about 10 to 15. So, so we're we're now at 6,000 feet. This is Mission Control. Felix's current altitude under the chute is 6,600 feet. Okay. Any direction? So he has the highest we're jump. For you, but we can't find you. Uh, the telemetry just work. There he is. There's a closer, sh closer shot from the helicopter. Felix, the wind's out of the north, 5 to 10. Beautiful shot. Facing that big tower. Anybody can hear? I'm facing that big tower. Okay, and the wind's out of the east. I'm sorry, I gave you the wrong information. Out of the east. Oh, you're Felix, we're coming your way, bud. Hurry up, I need to learn. Coaching her. Oh. 
Felix, wind is out of the east. The wind is out of the east. Under parachute, you have we see it. We're quite coming a, your way right now. Quite a bit of control by pulling We're those. Lay down in some the direction. Wind's out of the east, Felix. Wind's out of the by east. By pulling the cords, he can control a fair amount of control on his path into this landing. Now we see that scrub earth below. Felix's altitude is 5,800 feet. Just 5,000 feet now, so really nearing. And the altitude out there, I'm not sure of the altitude of the ground. Hey, drop on clear, guys. Drop on target clear. Luke's making the call to drop smoke, Felix. That means to Luke's drop a smoke marker from one of the helicopters. Oh, he wanted to see, I see. He wanted the smoke so he could see the wind direction. Hey, Felix, the wind is coming from the ridge. The wind is coming from the ridge. No, towards the ridge. Art Sorry. Thompson, the, wind the is technical director the ridge. of the Red Bull Status Program, telling him that the wind is coming from the direction of that ridge I was talking about. So he certainly got the highest jump mark that he was after. We'll find out about the mock. Did he break the speed of sound as he hoped? Here he's coming. And there you can see by the approaching shadow, he's just about there, and he's down on the earth, safely back. Down on his knees, what a shot. So he has the new record. 